நண்பர்களுக்கு வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் திஸ் ப்ரோக்ராம் இஸ் பிராட் யூ பை குருஜி டிவி திஸ் யூடியூப் வீடியோ இஸ் அ டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஆஃப் த டேமு வீடியோ ஆஃப் அ ரெனோண்ட் அஸ்ட்ராலஜர் ஜோதிஷ் மகா குரு ஆதித்ய குருஜி நண்பர்களுக்கு வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் This program is brought to you by Guruji TV. This YouTube video is a translation of the Tamil video of a renowned astrologer Jyotish Mahaguru Aditya Guruji. Dear Guruji, this is Ramarajan. I am an astrologer. This chart is very challenging to me. Meena Lagna that is the ascendant is Pisces. Rahu in ascendant house. Jupiter is in second house Venus and sun in eighth house Venus is not combusted here sun is in third pada of chitra vargotama is this 200 percent debilitation guruji mr ramarajan i would like to respond to this question you have introduced yourself as an astrologer meena lagna that is the ascendant is pisces rahu in ascendant house Jupiter is in second house Venus and sun is in eighth house so Ketu must be in seventh house you say that sun is debilitated in eighth house Vargotama in the third pada of Chitra that is it is debilitated in Navamsa chart as well well your question is that when sun is debilitated in this fashion is a 200 percent debilitation right is a 200 percent debilitation since in birth chart and navamsa chart sun is in the same sign debilitated in rasi chart and in eighth house you have got this question am i right try to understand the logic of vargotama first when a planet is in the same sign in the birth chart and navamsa then that planet is called as vargotama planet it is coined from two words varga and uttama there is a logic of suva vargam i often repeat the following point a planet needs to be subhatva in navamsa in conjunction with benefic planets or in the house of benefics this is what often i mention as subhatva strength or sukshma strength that is subtle strength when a planet is in the same sign in the birth chart and navamsa then that planet is called as vargotama planet no matter the status of the planet when the planet is in the same sign in both rasi and navamsa chart the planet gains the strength as own house this was mentioned in the original scripts when you want to assess the strength of the planet you have to consider this point those planets which got vargotama no matter the status of the planet whether it is inimical or debilitated it will enjoy the status of the own house especially the status of nicha banga that is cancellation of debility this is a rule you have introduced yourself as an astrologer and say that this is challenging part to predict the chart your question is if this could be 200 percent debilitation when a planet is debilitated in both rasi and navamsa could it be 200 percent debilitation debilitation of a planet means it is at the lowest state 100 percent lowest state debilitation is the state where the planet loses all its strength and you want to know if it is debilitated more please read the articles i have written under the title nietzsche banga raj yoga that is truth about cancellation of debility and raj yoga this is an article which was viewed more than 22 lakh times i have mentioned this point in that article when a planet is in vargotama and debilitated it is said to be nicha banga that is cancellation of debility it regains the strength lost yet during its dasa the planet will deliver the debilitated effect first and then will deliver the own house or exalted effects in your case meena lagna that is the ascendant is pisces rahu in ascendant house jupiter is in second house venus and sun is in eighth house sun is debilitated in eighth house so don't assume this as debilitation the sun will do the sixth house good effects during its dasa when sixth lord is in eighth house it is a bad position 
when a planet that owns inauspicious house is in upajaya sthana that is 3 6 10 11 in a friendly status it is said to be good the planet that owns inauspicious house should not be in another inauspicious house when sixth house lord is in eighth house without any subhatwa it is not in a good state in your chart sun is aspected by jupiter so during sun dasa what would happen during sun dasa the planet will deliver the good effects of the sixth house like for example benefits from working as an employee sivaraja yogam benefits from father benefits pertaining to the government will happen definitely during this dasa i chose this question as it was coined with an innovative phrase 200% debilitation a question from our youtube subscriber g supra is asking me a question guruji the planet that outperforms during the dasa disappoints as bukti lord why please explain this in regard to rahu guruji the planet that outperforms during its dasa disappoints as bukti lord supra ma'am i have explained this several times this is the secret that how dasa bukti functions the dasa lord acts like a captain his number one all the others are at the lower level in the hierarchy in any situation for example when the dasa lord is inimical to the ascendant lord even in this case right the ascendant lord will perform its duty under the control of dasa lord try to understand the important point the head of a chart is ascendant lord yet during a dasa when ascendant lord becomes bukti lord it will deliver its effects under the control of dasa lord in other words dasa lord has a greater influence on the ascendant lord during the dasa let us assume that venus dasa is going to happen it means the whole 20 years you are going to be under the reign of venus that is things that are pertaining to venus is going to happen in your life the house effects and significance of venus is going to happen in your life for 20 years let us take another example let us assume saturn dasa is going to happen then for 19 years of the dasa period the saturn house effects will happen through saturn significance whichever bhava number applies to the native the capricorn and aquarius these house effects will happen during the saturn dasa based on the nakshatra pada of the saturn the effects will happen this is the intricacy of dasa and bhukti the bhukti lord is under the control of dasa lord if the planet has to give either good or bad effects then the dasa period of the planet should happen i repeat this point often for example for leo ascendant let us say saturn is in a bad position but the saturn dasa is never going to happen then the native did not worry about it if saturn dasa happens then it will bring unfavorable results to the leo ascendant see the native might enjoy five to six dasas in his lifetime so according to the age of the person the significance of bhukti lord will happen that is the same bhukti will give different results depending upon the age of the native today in win tv live i have predicted the chart of two people moon dasha and venus bhukti ketu dasha and venus bhukti i told that the marriage will happen during venus bhukti because the venus will deliver its significance that is the marital pleasure so the marriage will happen venus is the planet that can get a native married when he or she is young in case if the venus is combusted by the sun then the native will get marital pressure not during venus bhukti but he will get the marital pleasure in the following bhukti which is sun bhukti according to the rule the sun will perform the role of combusted planet so the marriage will happen during sun bhukti this also happens according to the person's age if venus is in conjunction with saturn or rahu the effect of the venus will happen during rahu bhukti if rahu is in close conjunction within 8 degrees with venus when i say this i uh, recall a point that somebody asked me a doubt that actress aishwarya rai has got rahu and venus in close conjunction within 8 degrees or uh, precisely within uh, 2 degrees check out the chart again 
I can't explain each one's chart. Whatever rules I say is 100% correct. Any planet that is in close conjunction with Rahu surrenders itself to Rahu. The planet effects will be performed by Rahu. In all the celebrities chart, there will be a combination of Rahu and Venus. Especially if somebody reaches the peak in film industry, the combination of Rahu and Venus will be in the chart and the Rahu Dasa will happen or if any planets connected to Rahu, the Dasa of those planets will be happening. Rahu Dasa is capable of elevating a person from rags to riches. Coming back to your question, when will Venus give marital pleasures? Identify the position of the Venus. Prediction of chart involves assessment of lot of entities. Astrology is definitely not simple arithmetics. You should definitely research a lot. The lot of bhakti will render its significance according to the age of the native. For example, let us say that for uh, a 60 years old native, Saturn bhakti is going to happen. Or 60 years or even let us say 70 years old. What is the important significance of Saturn? It makes a person to limp. Saturn's important significance is to make a person to be unable to walk. When Saturn Bhukti happens, the old native may fall down, suffer from knee pain, may get bedridden, etc. etc. The prediction of how a planet will deliver its significance or what it would deliver is thoroughly based on how we match the planet's significance and house effects. If you want to learn astrology in a simple way, understand the significance of the planets, the house effects, the significance of the nine planets, the house effects of the twelve houses, friend and enemy status, understand the signs, divide the planets as Jupiter and Venus team, learn about Dasa Lord and the effects of Dasa Lord. When you understand these combinations thoroughly, you can predict easily. I often say astrology is not a great challenge. If you understand it is simple, understand the effects of Dasa Lord based on its position, his role and in which fashion he will perform. Try to learn when and how Bhukti Lord will deliver its effects who is under the control of Dasa Lord. During the Dasa, you have to focus only on Dasa Lord. The Dasa Lord is like a king. All the other planets are like ministers and gatekeepers under the control of the king. Even the Ascendant Lord can render its effect under the captainship of Dasa Lord. The effects that Dasa Lord cannot deliver will not be delivered by Bhukti Lord. It is a beautiful, disciplined, interconnected system. If Saturn Dasa happens for 19 years, you are under the control of Saturn and that is why I say if the native is fortunate, he will get the Dasa of friendly planets to the Ascendant. If it is Pisces Ascendant, he is considered to be fortunate if only he enjoys the Dasa chain as Sun, Moon, Mars, Rahu and Jupiter. In case if the native is unfortunate, he may suffer from Dasa chain like Saturn, Mercury, Ketu and Venus. Because you will be under the control of Venus Dasa for 20 years, if you are tangled in Venus Dasa, the other 8 planets can perform only under the control of Venus. So certainly the other planets cannot give good effects. If you check the charts of the winners of life, you can identify that Yoga Dasa happens in their life. There is one more possibility, the nine planets will be strong and the four planets that I had mentioned, that is the Avayoga planets, that is the opponent team planets to the ascendant, will be located in the Upajayasthana, that is 3, 6, 11 and 12, in friendly position in a good pada. This is how we can identify the chart of Raja Yoga. Try to understand how the Dasa and Bhukti works. The Bhukti Lord is always under the control of Dasa Lord. Identify the significance of Bhukti Lord and how it is delivered based on age of the person and the power of Dasa Lord. All the above factors are important to predict the effects of Dasa Bhukti period. Thank you.